Hey everybody, oh, we gotta switch it. Hey everybody watching this on the replay, this is, we're at the Dude Ranch right now. Welcome everybody, we're gonna be answering your questions and uh, just hanging out with you. We got a fire going. Mm -hmm. um, this, is, this is pretty fun, I have to yeah. say. You know, we're working late on a Friday night and we get to hang out here by the fire and chat with you guys on our time off, so it's gonna be kinda cool. We're working out here until about midnight tonight, yeah. maybe not that late. Um, we had some exterior scenes in in the darkness, so that's that's why we're out here at this time. And this is a real fire. Sometimes, well, most of the time in Heartland, we uh, we just have fake fires. Mm -hmm. But this is an actual real fire we got going on here. So hopefully you can hear us. Hi from Toronto. Hello from New York City. Um, hey guys, so yeah, so uh, tweet us your questions. Um, what's our what's our? Uh, I love Heartland. I love Heartland. Hashtag, hashtag. hashtag. So I got my phone here. I'll be checking your uh, your tweets and uh, questions and stuff. So ask away. Um, when is the new season coming to Netflix in the USA? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We, uh, Guys, we just so you know, we're not in control of Netflix or um, any of that stuff for that matter. So yeah. if you have specific questions about that or when it's going to be on in your area, in your country, it's best to go straight to the broadcast that usually, um, you know, broadcasts a show and Netflix, same thing. So we're not, we don't have any control over that. Amber, what is the funniest thing that's happened on set, either on or off camera? Ah. Uh, Hashtag I love Heartland. I don't know. It's funny. I always think it's that from Leah H. By the way, I always think that these these days kind of all morph into one. I can never remember one specific time because we thing, we yeah. have a lot of fun on set every single day. Uh, there isn't really anything in particular that stands out to me. Even this year, I don't know if there's a, a specific moment. Um. Yeah. Was that? Yeah. It was this season. When we were walking through that yard sale, was that the beginning of it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was throwing a football, <laughs> and I, because I found this little Nerf football in the garage sale, and I thought it'd be really fun to play with it in the scene. Well, in when we're shooting, I might have already told this story. Did I already tell this story? I don't think so. Um, you have to match, right? Because the camera cuts from different angles. So I had to match every time I threw the ball and which hand it was in. Uh, for that scene, so I regretted picking up that little Nerf football uh, about midway it's a, through. It's a great story. It's not really funny, <laughs> but um, I found it funny because after sharing that with us, yeah, Graham. I was. Um, so I was there like, you oh, go. Geez. That's is that, that not the funniest moment. But no, I mean, was, like I said, we have fun on a daily basis. There's not one thing that really sticks out uh, above anything else. But yeah, I think that it's a pretty awesome workplace. We never get bored. I'm just uh, refreshing my tweets here. Um, if you film a special episode of Heartland from anywhere in Canada, where would you, Amber, and cast choose to film it? Hashtag anywhere in Canada? Well, I love Alberta, and that's why I love filming out here. But it would be fun to do something like a family trip to the ocean, um, oh. just because we've never seen that with the Heartland family. So uh, I think I would On probably choose. I was going to say <laughs> PEI, or I'd probably go out to the East Coast. Okay. It would be something different. PEI would be fun in the summertime. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. I love it there. So anyone yeah. from PEI, that's a beautiful place to live. But I don't know, like, if you're restricting it to Canada, we kind of show some of the most beautiful spots in Alberta already. So that would be my pick, is to go somewhere totally different. This is from um, a qu uh, equestrian writer uh, at Horse My, Mis My Mystique. Uh, hashtag I Love Heartland. How many characters are in the final scene of season nine and oh, any hints? Oh, that's a good question. Without getting to know what the actual scene is. Yeah, and without knowing who they are in the final scene, there's two. There's actually three. It, oh, okay, got cool. Three, yeah. <laughs> two, three. Yeah. Two um, and a half. Any hints? Um, there is something magical that happens that I personally have never experienced um, or seen. Um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> but yeah, I get yeah. it. Um, uh, this is from Gary Gibson. What's the sad thing about winding down a season of filming? The sad thing. Um, I'm really happy to get to sleep, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, 
there's always a little bit of, you know, people like, oh, you know, am I ever going to get to work with this amazing group again? And Yeah, we don't know if the show's going to go again. You know, there's, there's, there's no, uh, they don't tell, tell us right away. So, um, you know, sometimes uh, it's a couple months after uh, that mm-hmm. we get the, the green light that it's going again. So, But uh, I never think of it as a goodbye. Yeah. Like, regardless if, if I ever think that we're going to come back and do another season. You know, the people that I have the strongest bond with here, I know I'm going to see them again regardless if we come back or not. And it's just kind of a, I don't know, I don't like... I don't ever think of goodbyes as sad. I always think of just as it being a, you know, I'm not going to see these people every day for a while. But I had someone once tell me, actually it was a homeless man that I met on the street, and I was chatting with him for a bit, and I said goodbye. And he says, don't goodbye. Say, I'll see you next time. And I went, I'll see you next time. I haven't seen him again yet, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I liked that. It was really nice. Um, I'm Michelle at uh, Island, or no, I Land Girl. Yeah underscore shell says what are the steps to shooting a scene is it rehearsed before it's shot um yes it is mm-hmm. uh, we uh we block it which basically so what is blocking blocking is basically um kind of the structure where we're gonna where we're gonna put the camera where the people where the actors are gonna stand and sort of the, the the broad strokes so we get the broad broad strokes down then we kind of refine kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like um and then um, we light it so or we don't light it but our team comes in and lights it, sets up all the lights, practices the camera moves, um, and then we come back in and we rehearse it. So we do it a few times without rolling the camera, just to make sure we got everything just right, and then we shoot it. Um, we normally shoot one or two times, sometimes three or four, mm-hmm. sometimes be, seven or eight. It, you know, it really depends on the length of the scene, how in depth the movement and the characters are. We've done like nine and take sometimes yeah. there's a lot of really complicated dialogue or a lot of different camera moves each each scene is going to be different on how long it takes yeah. to film what would you say the average takes we would do three yeah i'd say we actually play a game this is a fun game we actually play it's called actors golf and we we call out like i don't know if you guys know golf but there's a par so that's kind of like if you get that amount of hits that's, that's... like good even right so we say, what's this? What's the setup, or the, the where the cameras are? That's called the setup. So we say, in this setup, what's par? And we'll say three takes or two takes. So if we get the, the the shot in two takes, then we hit par. If we get it under, we get it in one take. You know, then we're like, sweet, we got a birdie. Hole in one. Or hole in one, right? That's another one we do. <laughs> so we try and play that game called it's called actors golf. Anyways. Yep. Anything to pass the time. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, Teresa Snow says, what can we expect from Ty and Amy in the mid-season? Oh, in the mid-season. So Hashtag I love Heartman. Mid-season? Yeah. Yeah, like nine. Because uh, that's coming up. Yeah, what? This Sunday. Rewind my brain. Um. <sighs> oh, right, right, right. So. Uh, <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> um, um. There's. Drama. And um, Caleb and brings his horse. Oh, is that that? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He's got Caleb has a really cool new horse um, that he right. brings with a problem, mm-hmm. and so we see Amy and Ty working together to fix not only like the psychological but the physical. Like we've yep. got that, so that's going um, on. Yeah, and and it's really hard, guys. We we really like to kind of give you more details, but we have to be very careful about what we say because we don't want to ruin it for anybody. This is live, and we get in trouble if we say things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, that's probably what we can tell you without spoiling it for you. But there is some really cool stuff. Again, things, some things yeah. that you haven't seen, obviously. Oh yeah, before. and the yeah, because that's the one. <laughs> no, like where Amy takes Caleb's horse out for a ride, and then she lets something happen. I don't remember. <sighs> and you I don't remember? <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, right. Yes. Right? Now I remember. And that looks really cool. Oh, yeah. That's very cool. <laughs> I remember so that So watch it, because it's going to be awesome. Okay, we got from Emily Grace. Uh, what happens to all the food you use at the dinner table <laughs> seats? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, do you throw it out, or does the cast and crew eat it? it Thanks, Emily what Grace. It is. <laughs> um, I used to take a lot of the food when I had pigs. Uh, I would take all of the food back, and anything that was going to go to waste, I'd feed to my pigs. 
Uh, I still take a lot of the vegetables back and give that to my chickens. So that happens. Yeah. Um, and if the food is like, see, the thing is, is sometimes we're doing dinner scenes for like three hours. So if there's food sitting out on the table for three hours, really, you know, Canada food regulations won't allow them to give it to anyone to take home for human consumption. Yeah. Uh, but if there's things like um, baked goods, steak or anything like that, I take that home for the dogs. Um, we eat uh, some of the food. The, the food. We eat the food on set. Uh, we eat the food um, in the scene, I should say. Uh, but, you know, when you're, especially in dinner scenes, we have lots of different angles. If you watch, you'll, the, very often you'll have different perspectives. So we film the dinner scenes uh, from lots of different perspectives. So we have to do lots of takes. So um, you have to be kind of cautious of how much you're eating because you'll be, you'll be, we'll be filming that scene for probably about two hours. Mm -hmm. So, and you have to be eating, you know, the same way in every shot. So... Um, you have to be careful, uh, but um, the food's really great. Uh, we have some really good people that make our food for us. Um, so yeah, uh, what else we got going? How much do you, snow do you guys have? Can you see it? Enough to build a snowman. <laughs> oh, have you actually? I haven't built a snowman. <laughs> well, because some people don't have snow. Yeah, you can see that's our set right there. They're just there's some light. Uh, we don't have that much. There's Amber trying to pick up some snow. And now she's dropping it. It's not really good packing. Stuff. It's not. Yeah, it's the really powdery. Make, you know what? I can even make a snowman if I wanted to. Yeah. We don't have a lot of snow. Um, what else we got here? Uh, will there be a season ten? We don't know. Yeah, sorry. Um, does Jack die? How did you know? <laughs> what? That's the cliffhanger. That's the cliffhanger. You guys called it. Um, is Amber heading to NFR? To NFR? I, you NFR? know what? I just talked to Deb. I just texted her, actually, like 20 minutes ago. Who's Wished Deb? her good luck tonight. Deb is one of our Canadian barrel racers. It's down at the National Finals Rodeo. Oh, it was just Deb. I was like, wow. What's, your, what's Deb's last name? Um, she's a Shane Green. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Deb Gully, but Deb okay. Bringer. She actually, her... Uh, I'm not going to get into personal life here, so we won't, oh, okay. we won't cover that. I didn't know it was a personal um, question. So, yes, uh, I mm. cannot go to the NFR because I'm working. So that's what's happening. I'm here till. I mean, we work great until the 16th. Yeah. So the NFR will be over when I'm done working. Uh, hi from NJ, New Jersey. Hello. Um, so, yeah, we have another question here from Julia. If you and Amber had to be any other characters on Heartland, who would you guys be and why? Uh, love you guys. Thank you. Hashtag I love Heartland. If um, you were to be any other character? Yeah. Like on, on the show? On the show, yeah. On Heartland. Mm, um, Graham would be Sugarfoot and I yeah, would be... <laughs> Sugarfoot. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't mind playing like a bad guy like Wes. Mm -hmm. If you remember Wes from mm -hmm. earlier seasons. I would really like there to be like a bad guy that like sticks around mm -hmm. for like a long time and we can't catch him, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't mind okay. playing a bad guy. I don't, I don't know who I'd want to this play. This Ty's always like trying to save the day. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think you would play uh, like an animal. Like if you could, you would. <laughs> yes, like I a, would. Like a giant bear. <laughs> I'd be warmer right now if I was a giant yeah. bear. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was a great question. <laughs> you get to uh, look at this. Thank you. Do you actually get damaged horses to fix, or are they just trained? Asks Eva. Um, yes, this is all a scripted show. So everything that you see on the show is pretend. Um, we, we, we're not, it's not like a, a seminar where you're watching someone like Buck Brandeman actually bring in a horse that's damaged and, and work with it because we shoot the scene and we talked a little bit about this earlier from so many different angles and we do it so many different times so if you were actually curing a horse's behavioral problems it would be cured in the first take and yeah, then you couldn't it do work. it You'd again to, yeah. and again and again like it's we don't set up a ton of cameras and do one scene once we do it over three four hours each scene so uh, we have horses that are specifically trained to do certain things like rear or buck or lie down or strike out or anything like that now certain things are natural, like when Amy's working a horse in the round pen, she actually is pushing the horse out and making him join up, essentially. Um, but there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with the horse. No, um, I think where were we talking? Were we talking about the? Uh, I can't remember. Were we talking about this on the last periscope when we were doing that scene where the horse had to like move its head away? 
um, and we'd pull on the on the, the lead. Oh, when it had the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Did, did so we talk that, about that already? I don't I feel think like, so. I feel like I talked about that already. No. Um, but that was a, a, a scenario where we were working with a horse that didn't want something around its face, so we had to train it so that um, when you pull on the the, the shank there, um, the horse will buck his. What do, what do you call that? Like a Just lift, lift its head up. <laughs> um, so yeah. So anyways. Um, that uh, that's something that we just trained because if the horse was actually afraid of it and didn't didn't like it, then it wouldn't really work because we have to do it multiple times. And if we did solve it, then it wouldn't work anymore. So we have to train and work with them and use tricks to mm -hmm. tell the story. And a lot of times we'll use multiple horses for one character. So if we need Spartan to rear in one scene and then be quiet in another scene, we'll use a horse that's specifically trained to rear just for that one scene. And sometimes we'll use three four horses to play one character in the, in one scene yeah yes yes mm -hmm. uh, so questions uh, hashtag I love heartland you can use Twitter you can ask them on um, on here uh, board or ski and is rim is Remy there from Fern <laughs> Remy's not here today <laughs> uh, I snowboard I can't ski I've never tried it I can't snowboard but I can ski there you go but I usually don't I usually snowmobile in the winter I don't uh, don't spend much time skiing anymore. Uh, how well? How old are you, Graham? I'm 29. What's your favorite episode this season? Ooh. Um, I thought that the one that's already aired of Paint Dying that's was like season. super moving. I thought it was a really strong episode. But actually, my favorite one that I've seen this year was rated our highest episode in ratings ever in all nine seasons, and that was when Amy and Ty went to rescue the eagle. Oh, yeah. And I thought that that was just, it was really creative. It was something different. I really liked um, that, too. It was just, yeah, it was, I really enjoyed it. Um, what is your guy's least favorite type of scenes to do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Least favorite? Um, when it's minus 40 and we're outside. <laughs> yeah, super cold, super cold because it's hard because your face freezes. Like and today's I, beautiful. And I'd say, um, oh, we're losing battery. we might be losing battery, guys, on our, on our phone here. So if we cut out, we'll come back. But, um, just so you know, we're low on battery. If it does die, we will try and get this going again on another device. Um, but I would say cold and scenes that, um, uh, you have a lot of dialogue and there's like, that like any background noise um, makes and you have to read. And not only that, a lot of dialogue and no time. It. Like when or, yeah, we're under really pressure. Yeah, that's challenging. It's not. It's not like it's feel, like least favorite. It's just more challenging. Yeah, because you feel like I gotta get this right. I gotta get this right. We're running yeah. out of time, and it just makes it harder to focus. Yeah, harder to focus, um, and you can't mess up. You know, you just want to make sure you get it right and tell the story. Yeah. So it's uh, it adds a new layer of challenge to it. Um, Amber. What has been, what is your favorite type, what are your favorite type of scenes to film? My favorite usually are with the horses. They're usually small amounts of dialogue and just lots of horse action. Yeah. Um, just action in general I find is, is fun. It keeps you awake and moving and real and natural because it's just... Okay, just so fun. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. What if Heartland was to film an episode like in the silent era, like silent films. Oh. So it would just be, all be action. We'd have to tell the whole story. You know what? And with music, though, right? With music, yeah. yeah, yeah just yeah. like old school, you know. I think that it could be done. And we use title cards, you know, so when Ty looks over, the like, oh, Amy, and it falls now off. Now it the, just got oh, cheesy. The, oh. Yeah, but that's how they do the old <laughs> movies. That's how they do it with the, you know, the title cards. Yeah, but I do think we could accomplish, maybe not a full 48 minutes of Heartland, but I think we could accomplish like 10, 15 minutes of no and tell talking the story and as well. tell the story just yeah. as well. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. Well, guys, um, we're actually going to conclude mm -hmm. this uh, evening's podcast. No, what is this? Periscope, not a podcast. Um, sort of the same. <laughs> kind of the same. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much for coming, uh, watching this. To all the people that are re-watching this, thank you for re-watching it. <laughs> um, and thanks for adding your little hearts right there. Yeah. That helps the uh, I Love Heartland um, hashtag and our Periscope account just get recognized mm -hmm. uh, so more people find out about it. So, yeah, uh, tune in next time. We'll do another one soon. Um, we love you guys so much, and peace. <laughs> <laughs>